So, Paul, it's great to meet you finally and you uh, too. in the conference. Yeah, it was great. Um, so, Paul, we've been working um, for the last couple of years and it's, it's all phenomenal the way the work has shaped up and is helping people with long COVID. What's your view? What's your take on how things have gone in the last couple of years? Yeah, well, it's great to meet you too for the very first time, you know, in, in the two years that we've been working together at this conference. And, you know, great to meet you after hearing you on a radio programme that uh, kind of inspired me to write to you, uh, which was on a Sunday and I wrote to you on a Monday and by Friday we were working together. So it's been amazing. Fantastic. Um, but in terms of what we've been doing, the work, I think it's just um, a product of that time, you know, not being able to meet people, um, having to work at uh, ridiculous speeds, having to bring together people who'd never worked previously on what was a, a national challenge. And yeah, I think we should, both our organisations should feel very yeah. proud of the way that we, you know, we dealt with it and right. responded. And it's, as I say, it's great to meet you for the very first time, yeah. knowing that we've launched something that's now, you know, taking traction all over the world. Yeah, exactly. And I was going to say, Paul, it's quite uh, off track, the kind of work we, we embarked on. Mm. And it's out of the box, isn't it? So people do proms. Um, the traditional way of doing it is, you know, they do the paper forms, it goes on the system, yeah. and it's so cumbersome, the whole thing. Yeah. So one of the advantages, shall we say, of pandemic is it's different ways of working. Yeah. And people have realized that actually, well, this is a better way of working. Yeah. And, and now everything, all the 36 or odd proms are now on this platform. And even NHS England is knocking on our doors. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. Yeah how, how um, you know, need is the, you know, is the, is, is the spark of innovation. You, we've had to come up with something to respond to something that was so obviously really, really difficult for everybody at the time. Mm. What do you think is the future then, Paul, to our collaboration, our platform, yeah. our little baby? Well, really interesting. Yeah, I think the future is to extend it into other long-term conditions because we know we've got a platform um, that's dealing with a particular set of conditions, to potentially up to 200 symptoms. And to extend that then into other long-term conditions is a very natural next step. And, and potentially given that a, long, a lot of these long-term, long COVID patients will inevitably be managed around separate services. So you know, it may be chronic fatigue or chronic pain mm. or you know, breathing issues. Mm. Those will be mainstreamed, I suspect, over time, where they're then managed um, in services. So we should be able to follow those patients into, into where they end up being rehabilitated from. Mm. And I'm so glad I replied to your email, Paul, when you, when you emailed me. So, I mean, great work and full credit to you and your team and at LROS. And you too. Thank you. Yeah, really good to Thank see you. you. Thank you.